know what a charrette was, and I was like, uh, this sounds like it'll either be really awesome or it's all going to fall apart. I love the idea that um, we were able to get the entire department together, all 114 students in one place to work on one project starting from the very first day of class. We had seniors working with freshmen. Uh, we had interior designers working with sculptors, working with graphic designers. Um, and that created an interesting kind of uh, tension and energy. The entire theme is movement. And so we're kind of thinking about like, what is movement really to its core and like what has movement? How are we going to do this? <laughs> So we're all different ages, we're all different majors, and um, we didn't agree on our first idea, and it was kind of hard to come up with our, our um, end game, so it was like fun to kind of interact with everybody. I'm actually like proud of how everybody worked together, because it's a new idea for some, and especially for the students. So the fact that they were scared at first and you could see their faces like, wait, I was just ready to like grab a pencil and start drawing. And then all of a sudden they have new friends and they think they came up with something genius and they're sharing in the ideas and they want to show it to all their friends. And so it became this event more than just like a week long project. I think as an art art instructor, it, sometimes you come to a building and this is a building that we teach art in. This now the building came someplace where uh, it was it was part of the art process, not just a, a place to facilitate art instruction. So the students actually making stuff with the building, on the building, around the building. It just was kind of a dream come true for me. You see not only what their talents are, but how they work together and how they problem solve together and. I think they get a sense too of how to engage in a group project or with other people, which in design, you're going to always be working with people that are of different, different kind of takes on the project or different perspectives or even different skill sets. I think uh, like, I don't do a lot of group projects, honestly, all that much usually, but it, it was a cool, refreshing change of pace to like be able to like collaborate with people and like there's a lot more that you're able to accomplish in a short amount of time with a large group of people, like stuff that like I wouldn't even have considered if it was just me doing the project. It's been a really fun process so far, and um, I think I really enjoyed it, um, working together. Kind of like we, we had our ups and downs, you know, we went through, you know, a trial process of everything, but so far I think we kind of found our medium of how we went about it. When we talk about what an arts education is about, a lot of it is about learning those skills that you would expect, learning how to paint, learning typography, learning how to use Photoshop, all those things. But there are a lot of other skills that uh, come out of an arts education, things like project management, uh, working together in teams, coming up with a plan, uh, and then going through the process of iterating that plan, trying it out, testing it, maybe it fails, coming up with a new uh, direction, testing that as well on this long road to eventually creating whatever that final, uh, final design solution is gonna be. Some of the pieces when I saw them come together at the end, I, I was I was just taken back, like, that's a really cool idea. What really surprised me was the sheer number of kind of installation art solutions, right? So um, coming into these rooms where part of the room was just taken over with this experience was really encouraging. It was, it was great to see that. It was so gratifying at the end to see everybody come together for that final award ceremony. A hundred or so students uh, packed in this hallway uh, to get their awards, wearing their t-shirts, all sort of on one art and design team. That was fantastic. There were several times when we thought we had something going and then it just didn't work out. And But it, we ended up coming back stronger. I love it. I think it's really, really great. Um, I think all of our ideas really came together. I think that's what makes it so good is that all of our ideas really came together 
um, and really made it a really uh, great project that um, kind of shows all of our feelings towards the issue. We should definitely try this again, um, if possible, in the near future, um, because I think this is a great way for new freshmen who come in to work with other students and including even non-art majors, they can see how we go through this process as well. I think that there was a lot of thought put in them and everybody kind of went in a different way, which is awesome because we all had the same topic. So I think that was really cool. It was uh, all the emotions in one. It was uh, so gratifying and exciting and, um, you know, it was a lot like being a parent. You know, we saw some bad decisions happening and uh, we had to sort of let them play out and uh, watch the failures happen and watch them fall and skin their knees and then pick themselves up and figure out how they were going to take that next step. But it was really awesome and I think that our students were kind of scared and nervous, but they trucked through and they made it amazing. I think we've set this crazy bar that now we have to exceed that.